Hey guys, this is Vadim with Max Tech, and welcome to our ultimate camera comparison between the OnePlus 7 Pro, Pixel 3a, Galaxy S10 Plus, and iPhone XS Max. If you haven't already, go down and smash that like button. Seriously guys, it only takes a second and it helps us out a lot. So let's get right into the comparison. In this extreme HDR selfie photo, both the Pixel 3a and XS Max seem a little bit underexposed, and the OnePlus 7 Pro is the only one that gets the white balance spot on but it doesn't have as much detail as the S10 Plus, so I'm giving this one to the Samsung. In this one, the Pixel 3a has some pretty harsh shadows, and the S10 Plus looks to be a bit too cool on the white balance. The XS Max looks really detailed in this photo, but due to the clouds being so blown out, this one's going to the OnePlus 7 Pro. Moving to the rear side, both the 7 Pro and XS Max look a bit dull and flat, and while the S10 Plus looks very detailed, it's looking a bit dark and lacking highlights. The Pixel 3a look the closest to real life, and if we crop in, we can easily see that the S10 Plus has the most detail out of these phones. In this portrait photo, we see that same detail shining on the Samsung, with the Pixel 3a right behind it. However, the Pixel's white balance is way too cool. You can see that the S10 Plus uses the regular lens instead of the telephoto lens for portraits. The OnePlus looks a bit blurry or lacking detail, and the XS Max gives us a nice balanced photo. We see the same exact thing in this photo for the OnePlus 7 Pro, so it may be due to noise reduction or a low shutter speed. The Pixel 3a is way too blue once again, and the S10 Plus is really smoothing out the detail in the face. We'll go for the XS Max again for this one. We also notice that you can't adjust the blur on the OnePlus 7 Pro, and the XS Max blurs out the t-shirt, which looks a bit weird but is actually realistic. Now here's a very tough HDR photo. The S10 Plus does the best at keeping the details in the sky, and we actually notice a lot of detail in the hills and trees in the background, and that's because it has dual apertures, so it's shooting at f2.4 instead of around f1.7 with the others, and the XS Max has some very distracting lens flare going on. If we take a closer look, the Pixel 3a actually does the best job at properly exposing. In this photo, the S10 Plus overexposes by a good amount, making the sweater look faded, just like the OnePlus 7 Pro looks, without overexposing. It just looks a bit dull. The Pixel 3a looks the best overall with great detail and colors. In this portrait blur photo, the OnePlus 7 Pro actually does the best at edge detection, with the other phones struggling with a few areas here and there. In this macro shot, the flowers were blowing in the wind, so the phones had to freeze the motion to get good detail, and the Pixel 3a did the best at this. Although the XS Max doesn't look as detailed because of the lack of contrast, I really liked how it exposed the image. This photo was shot at maximum zoom, and we can see that the Pixel 3a can't zoom in that far since it's the only one that has a single rear camera, and because of that, you lose a lot of detail. The XS Max did pretty well, but it's lacking contrast, and the S10 Plus is the clear winner in terms of detail, although the colors are oversaturated. In this macro shot, we tested minimal focus distance and the S10 Plus was able to get the closest, and it's the most detailed as well, with the Pixel 3a right behind it. Part of this tree was in direct sunlight, so it was interesting to see how each phone dealt with it. The XS Max was really flat, and the 7 Pro and Pixel 3a crushed the detail in the shadows. The S10 Plus again has the most detailed camera. Two of these photos are shot using an ultra-wide lens, with the 7 Pro and the S10 Plus, and it's interesting to see how saturated the S10 Plus makes this photo, but it still looks great compared to the rest. One thing I also noticed was that the OnePlus 7 Pro's ultra-wide camera really lacks detail compared to the S10 Plus. It's a night and day difference. You can see here that details are smeared, and the sky is completely blown out. The S10 Plus does an excellent job at this, and you can see a lot of blue in the sky. Switching to the regular lenses, the Pixel 3a actually looks the most detailed here, followed by the XS Max. For some reason, the S10 Plus looked a bit faded, with the least amount of detail on the 7 Pro. This is another tough HDR scene, and we can see that the Pixel 3a blew out a lot of the clouds and underexposed the grass. The XS Max chose to expose the scene very well, but blew out all of the cloud detail. The 7 Pro does a decent job, but the sky looks gray, almost like they brought the highlights down more than they needed to. And here's the ultra-wide versions of these photos, showing that same difference in ultra-wide camera detail. In this one, it was up to each phone to freeze the motion of the spinning tire to capture a detailed image, and the Pixel 3a again did the best at it, shooting at a higher shutter speed making for a great looking image. And we tested the same thing here, with the Pixel 3a giving a very detailed image, followed by the XS Max, then the S10 Plus, and the very blurry looking OnePlus 7 Pro. This photo was shot testing shutter lag, 
hitting the shutter button as soon as little Elon got to the closest point to the camera. The Tennis Max features zero shutter lag, so it was basically instant, followed by the S10 Plus, then the OnePlus 7 Pro, and the Pixel 3a, which takes quite a while to snap a photo after you hit the shutter button. This one was shot in the shade with a bright sky and lake in the background. The Tennis Max was really dark, and while the S10 Plus looked really good, his face is really orange here due to oversaturation. The OnePlus 7 Pro lacked quite a bit of detail, and the Pixel 3a did the best overall. In this photo, the S10 Plus looked way more detailed compared to the rest, and the sand was actually exposed very nicely at the same time so I'm giving it to the S10 Plus. However, in this sunset cast shot, it's oversaturated and the water looks way too green. The OnePlus lacked detail, and the Tennis Max was a bit too cool, so this one goes to the Pixel 3a for looking the most true to life. This scene was very tough since the sandy beach is completely in the shade, with direct sunlight hitting the buildings in the background. The S10 Plus oversaturates quite a bit, and the building on the 7 Pro is a bit blown out. The Tennis Max looks great, but it's lacking some contrast, so this goes to the Pixel 3a. Now zooming in three times, we see the same results here, except that the Pixel 3a loses detail since it lacks a telephoto lens, giving the win to the Tennis Max. Now at maximum zoom, the Pixel 3a looks very pasty, and the S10 Plus is over sharpening a lot of the details. The Tennis Max looks pretty good, but there's a lot of noise, especially in the clouds, so this one goes to the OnePlus 7 Pro. Here's another one at maximum zoom. The Tennis Max again has a bunch of noise, and the Pixel 3a just looks terrible. Although the S10 Plus looks to be more detailed, if we crop in, we can see that it's due to over sharpening. The OnePlus 7 Pro actually has more detail, it's just lacking some contrast. In this food photo, the S10 Plus looks really good, but it just oversaturates the colors, leading me to choose the Pixel 3a despite the cooler white balance. Here's a dark indoor photo with some bright details in the background. If you look at the texture in the couch, you'll see that the 7 Pro and S10 Plus are adding a ton of noise reduction smoothing out the details. The Pixel 3a looks great, but it's way too cool in terms of white balance, with the Tennis Max being very accurate to what it actually looked like. Finally, we took a nighttime photo using Night Sight on every phone except for the Tennis Max, which doesn't have one. Although the Pixel 3a oversaturated the colors a bit, it still looked the best overall, being able to properly expose the shadows and highlights without introducing much noise at all. The 7 Pro did a pretty good job as well, but it was a bit too dark. So as you guys saw from the testing, the Pixel 3a and the Galaxy S10 Plus were better than the iPhone XS Max and the OnePlus 7 Pro quite often. The XS Max did very well, but it generally lacked contrast, making it look less detailed than the other phones. The OnePlus 7 Pro did pretty well, but it generally lacked detail compared to the others, and the highlights looked a little bit gray, like they turned them down too much, much more than you'd be able to recover highlight detail, and that leads to the photos looking a little bit dull and lacking contrast. The Pixel 3a did an excellent job, except the white balance was a little bit iffy, it wasn't consistent, and sometimes there was a little bit too much contrast. The Galaxy S10 Plus did an excellent job, except sometimes it was oversaturated and it just ruined the look of the photo. So who's the winner? Well, it's up to you guys. Let us know in the comment section below which phone you think did the best, and if you haven't already hit that like button, hit that like button right now and click that button above to subscribe and check out those other videos right there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Oh,